Welcome back to Let's Play Gran Turismo 4. Number something. I'll just... You can read the title. I hope. I don't know what number I'm on. We're just gonna keep going with it. So, Club M time. M. M for Mega or Mini. For any of you cultured folk out there. Culture of Frog Uh I think we're gonna be rocking the M3 CSL because uh, we're based in Red Pilled here on the Rowdy channel. Although it is quite more expensive. However, money is not a problem for me in this game, so ka -chow. Get in. Okay, with that, we'll go to the tuning shop. Uh, you can't fit a turbo on this, so naturally aspirated only. It's going to make it tricky to get this balanced because... Uh, the M5 could show up, and that's quite a bit more hefty than the M3, so... Now, uh, I'm gonna do an ECU. And some nitrous. Just in case that M5 shows up. And also a racing exhaust. Don't just, uh, just don't engulf the fumes. So we'll rock that. Head on over to Club M. Wait a minute. Did it say the M5 on there? Oh yeah, it did. So, we'll see how this goes. Uh, five somewhat short races. Uh, stuff. And uh, the M5 has indeed shown up. So, uh, before I forgore, bring that down, 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 be gone, assists. It should be disabled by default, but. Casual players will never know to check that, so. Oh, it's a uh, reverse, and only 45 A spec points, so. Uh, low A spec points, as well as this being El Capitan of all tracks, this is gonna be an absolute cakewalk, and I did not take that into consideration. Wow, this thing looks shiny. For a low poly car, that. Oh, bonk. Hello there. This thing has no brakes, apparently. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be smoking everybody. Why does this sound like a uh, fully tuned RB from GT2? It literally sounds like a fully tuned GTR. <laughs> I'm not. Nope. Stop trying to make that noise. Talking to myself again, yay. Imagine if an exhaust sounded like this in real life. Just how goofy it would be. Oh, okay, I need to break way earlier for that. Reminds you of some Lamborghini. It just reminds me of, like... Uh... 
the H the HKSR33 from GT2, but with less rasp and slightly lower RPM. How many uh, revolutions per minute does this thing get? A little over 8,000. I think the HKS R33 gets like around 9,000 or something like that. And uh, yeah, everybody else has disappeared from sight because El Capitan, the AI, just really suck at driving around here. I'm surprised my uh, driving is not totally trash for not being used to this game after quite a long time. Because it could be a way, way worse. Okay, wasn't expecting the, the rear to kick out like that. I really hope this track comes back in GT7. Although this is a fictional track, it's... It might be a little tough for them to work around licensing. I don't know if they have to, like, actually get licensed by the state of, like, in this case, California, or... It being a national park getting licensed by the United States of America, or how they go about that, but... Pike's Peak needs to come back. I don't know why it hasn't after so long. It's probably just like, at the new level of detail they want to take it to, it's probably just way too much track for the previous games to handle. So that's probably why it hasn't come back, but they've had the license this entire time. Maybe they could pull it off of GT7, but... I actually went to Pike's Peak last year. It's uh, quite the climb. They, it's going to be a lot of work making that track, even if they laser scan it. Like the surrounding environment, getting it up to up to standard. As far as like Z, GFX goes. Also, that is Facebook. Go away, I'm swimming. So yeah, that was pretty cool. It was nice and clear at the summit as well, so... You could see for quite a long ways. I think they said like you could see all the way to... Uh, not Wisconsin, that's like several states over. You could see all the way to like Wyoming apparently, which is... A couple hundred miles away. I think Pikes Peak would have been a waste in sport, because sport it was obviously like an eSports catered game. It wouldn't really be useful there, besides like free roam or something. It makes more sense in GT7 now. Oh wow, this thing just does not like to break, does it? Yeah, I'm really hoping the updates for GT7, like, bring a lot more life into the game, because 
I'm kind of like getting a little burned out of it already. I've done like almost everything. I'm not completely done with the licenses just yet, but I am done with the cafe books. I bought almost e like almost every car that I want. There's still a few more I'm waiting to show up. And I fully tuned almost every car I've wanted. I still need to catch up on doing those videos because I haven't done them in a while. Also, I spun out. Oh no. But we'll probably catch up to them though because AI. I also heard that, like, they were planning on adding, a uh, uh, Watkins Glen and maybe Road Atlanta into GT7 as well. I'd love to see Watkins, uh, debut in GT7. Oh, bonk, hello. Surprisingly, M5 is doing a lot worse than, like, everything else in this race. And he's just gonna shut me off track again. At least the oh my god. <laughs> At least the AI and GT7 are aware of your existence and they don't run you off track most of the time. Sometimes they will spin you out, but for the most part, GT7 does have like decent AI as far as like not hitting you. The people co that complain about the GT7 AI hitting them have definitely never played this game before. I can't see my tachometer, so I have to shift my sound, like, completely. My mic's in, my, in the way. This is gonna be a close one. I have to really nail the chicane to probably didn't need a downshift right there. Hopefully that's not my downfall. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, I think we're barely gonna get it. Solid comeback. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I would have totally smoked them if it wasn't for that spin out, but... Oh well. Wow, I was actually about to restart the race. I completely forgot this was a championship. That would have been, uh... That would have been meme status. To be honest, I completely forgot I had Nitro installed because my mic is blocking the way. I can't see my tachometer. Or, well, actually, wait, I think the fuel and nitrous gauge are on the other side. Derp. Next race. Where are we heading now? Upper Paris. Reverse. Also, uh, let's, uh, let's nuke this thing a little bit, because... Once again, wasted money on upgrades that I didn't need. So... Um, I think that's all I can do. Did I do a rate weight reduction? I don't remember. So let's see how many ace big points we get now. Up to 70. Decent, but... I'd be happy with, like, at least 100 or more. I'm a fan. I appreciate it, Raphael. If that's how you pronounce it. 
pretty sure I've been to this place in real life. I went to Europe in 2017. And this area does look familiar. Excuse me, M5, can you, like, go? I think the uh, GT2 and GT3 tire screech is a little bit more annoying. Annoying, yes. I think it's fine in this game, but not too obnoxious. Oh, hello. Nicely dodged, except for the fact that the AI just liked to drive into the side of me. I'm acting like a Pojo driver. Maniac. 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 <laughs> Authentic French experience. That reminds me of the, uh... The French character on Gran Turismo 7. Like, you know those... Text bubble speech people things? It's so weird, I don't know why they exist, but... There's a French guy there, and there's this quote from him saying, like, this is a long race, I'm gonna have to eat plenty of baguettes before we start, or something like that. I was just like, we, okay, we get it, you're French. I just thought it was a little goofy. Maybe I should go around saying, I gotta stuff myself with three Big Macs, a uh, double onion bacon burger, and uh, large chili cheese fries before we start. And a keg of uh, Bud Light. <laughs> oh wow, I am way late on the brakes. I can't see the brake indicator thing. You know that thing I've always complained about saying, wow, it's so useless, and then I need it for that one moment. I will say, like, yeah, while we're on the topic, those text bubble speech people things, I don't know what the hell you call them, but... The GT7 people that just like talk to you and that you don't feel like being talked to it's just so weird I want to skip them all which I do but I just wish they didn't show up at all and that I didn't like the cafe books either the way that progressed it was like step-by-step -step career mode progression instead of like giving you a little freedom to do the events you want to my freedom Gotta love my AR-15 before you race. <laughs> yeah, why is YouTube so sensitive with everything? I hate it. Yeah, YouTube blocks a lot of weird things. It's not like my... Okay, I'm way late on the race again. Okay, didn't die this time, at least. They block a lot of things they find sussy. But I, re I really don't care. As long as it's not like... I don't know, something really weird that people are talking about, then I usually don't mind. I, myself... Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that. So, like, I was gonna break a rule with what I was just about to say, but, uh... Private matters are private matters. I don't need to go telling people things I have. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. This is the internet, after all. Sussy Bacas. 
on every corner. I made this way too easy. I should have put on, like, comfort tires or something. Or I think in this game it's, uh, road tires. Found my breaking point, finally, on the final lap. Looking at the chat, hit the hit the corner. I need to hit that apex better. I don't I don't really drive this track in this direction that often. I prefer the normal way. But there we have it, race number three, done. Get our prize credits. Kachow. On to race number four. And we're here at probably my least favorite track in the game, Suzuka. So this will be fun. I think I'm just gonna start throwing uh, road tires back on every car I drive now. Okay, I'm getting uh, getting squished by the clown shoe and uh, some random M3 back there. No, this is the Krusty Krab. Okay, yeah, pardon me. Uh, I shouldn't be doing this. Nope. Retreat. If I tried to overtake the M3 GTR right there, then it would have definitely shoved me off track. Whoa, that was a little sussy. I don't know, Walt. You've been acting kind of sus lately. You sussy baka. Alright, let me dive bomb you already. Get around you. Oh, hello. I money shifted. Imagine blowing up your engine was a thing in Gran Turismo. That'd be interesting. That's the one thing that doesn't make Gran Turismo like a full sim. It's like the crashing and the, uh, the mechanical damage physics. BeamMG is like the ultimate simulator for that reason. I don't even know if a set of Corsa does that, to be honest. Yeah, I've always forgot about. Grand Tours 1 2 is mechanical damage because, like, it was a thing you had to enable in the options. But I think it only works in arcade mode, right? I need to start taking these corners better. No visual, but you get 
Inner damage, not great, though. I'm pretty sure iRacing has it, too. And if they don't, then people are getting robbed from that game with all of its stupid subscriptions. You have to pay for it. I really need to learn like the ins and outs of BMG, like how to how to properly play it and like set things up in it. I could make some cool videos on it. I've always uh wanted to do like a uh, an automation stream where uh, the stream chat builds the cars like a uh, shiny odd does. But maybe whenever I get a little bit more average viewers and the streams and I'll be able to do something like that so if I do it with too little viewers then it could get boring if like the same person's making all the decisions Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever touch iRacing, and if I do, it's not going to be until I have plenty of disposable income, because at the moment, I do not want to waste a single penny on it. So there we go, the race number four complete. And uh, we basically guaranteed the championship win, being a whopping 18 points ahead of second place. And uh, I forgot to save a, uh, a replay for the, the previous event, so let me just go ahead and do that now before I forget. Because I need this for thumbnail reasons. That'll do. Basically how all my files and everything in my PC is named. This is random gibberish. And then I wonder why I can't ever find anything. Well, efficiency. Time for race number five. Yeah, I've actually thought about like automation tournaments or like a uh, automation showdowns or something like a time attack on a certain beam and G track. That would be pretty cool, but you do need like a pretty decently sized community around that game to get it to work. I said community, a oh, cringe. I really don't like that word, it's so overused. Well, here we go at the Nordschleife. Not to be interesting. Oh wow, I'm actually getting uh, frame drops in Vulcan. It's, uh, that's illegal. This shouldn't be happening. Uh, now my sense of speed is thrown off. Do I have to... Oh, why are you doing this? Slow-mo. Alright, I gotta drive in bumper cam for a little bit, at least until I pass a few cars. If they add, like, the Pikes Peak track, then I guarantee they'll be bringing some hill climb car uh, cars like the Pikes Peak or maybe the Cultus and other stuff like that. But if they don't bring, like, the actual Pikes Peak track, I don't see them bringing those cars in either. Alright, could probably go back to this now. Would I suggest an El Gordo for PS5 streaming? Ah, it would not accept that thing for anything, to be honest. I've uh, had multiple. I've had multiple devices of theirs uh, for the past like almost ten years, 
and every single one was bad. So it's not like one example, I've been using it for a few months, and oh, now I hate this. It's been consistently bad. Bad in the form of their software corrupting my video files. Several very, very cool clips I've gotten over the years, but I've lost due to the files being corrupted by their really, really bad software, so... Personally, uh, yeah. What's unfortunate about it is that they don't really have much competition except for like Aver Media. I think they're like the only competition they have now. And I don't think Aver Media is just like up to par as far as like their specs go and stuff. I've never tried it either, so I don't know how good their software is, but. I don't get how so many companies can make all these products, but their software that runs it is just the worst. Oh. This is uh, quite the handful to drive on the Nurburgring, if I'm honest. I think I gotta try hard for this. And I have no room to get around, so I'll just bash you. I don't care. Lol, I'm a BMW driver after all. Very early on the brakes right there. Under searing into the wall, nice. Oh, okay, thanks. I, uh, I appreciate it. Gran Turismo 7 AI have, uh made their way to this game, apparently. Turn signals, tis merely a suggestion. Why am I so understeering? I keep wanting to restart the race, but I keep forgetting that this is a championship. I can't do that. So, uh, 15 seconds behind. This is, uh, quite the struggle here. But, uh, wow, three seconds down in just that section. The AI are always slow in that uphill area. I don't know why. But it's like consistent for like every event on this game. And here come the slowdowns again for some reason. My GPU is not being maxed out, so I guess my CPU is somehow bottlenecking. Probably OBS's fault. Now that I think about it, Elgato might be fine if you just run it through OBS all the time, although it has, like, a pretty bad delay if you set, like, uh, delays on all your other sources and then just record through OBS all the time, then it might be fine. It's just Elgato's own software is so unreliable. Approaching YouTube corner, don't go off track, it become a viral video. Look cool for the camera, boys. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Down to seven seconds now. I don't think it's gonna be enough, though. I really gotta go full send through this section. That's not going to happen because my right wheels just left the ground. Alright, stay on the road. Whoa, that was... Okay. 
and the, uh, the back end just completely left the track, and then that happened. Oh, there goes our hopes and dreams. Also, the M5 is in front of me, so he's definitely going to take off on the straight. Anti-epic. I have, uh, like, a generic USB HDMI capture card thing for my camera. Because, oh god, I wanted to ch charge, like, what was it? I think they were selling it for around 250 bucks. This was like mid-2020 when everybody was doing Zoom calls and everybody wanted to use their freaking camera as a Zoom camera. And Elgato was charging $250 for an adapter. That's all it is. It's an HDMI to USB adapter. So I was like, screw that. Instead, I uh, picked up the forty-dollar one, generic one, and also somehow I made it into first place with the infamous overpowered slipstreaming from this game. Gotta love it. <laughs> it's uh, quite surprising, to be honest. But uh, I will gladly take it. Wow. Unexpecting. So uh, there we have it. Clean sweep of the championship. A little bit rough in a few spots, but we made it. And with that, we shall collect our race prize credits. 10k for the championship. 35. Not too shabby. Did not re make a return on our investment for the car we bought, but uh, let's see what price car we get out of it. And I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Because uh, it would be fairly obvious. Okay, not exactly what I thought, but close. I thought it was going to be the M3 GTR race car, but this works too. The road version. So, uh, okay, don't know how to menu navigate again. There we have it. A little bit heftier than the CSL. And with that, stay tuned for more Grand Trees Move Forward. I didn't say seven this time. Woo!